Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're doing a Minotaur of Trog run. Doing the Berserker starter. We've made our way down to floor 8 of the dungeon, and we've gotten some very good equipment. Notably, these god tier gloves, which give strength, dex, and slaying. We got four scrolls requirement, of which we've used one. Got decent armor. We're doing pretty good. The only thing we're missing is like a super god tier weapon. But uh, we worship Trog. Trog will give us weapons as we gain piety. So that problem could sort itself out soon enough. We're starting to hit a breaking point with the maces and flails that I don't quite want to get. So I'm just going to focus leveling my armor and fighting for the time being. The other stuff I think is okay. We maybe could start lowering our shields experience that we're getting because by the end of the game we might be rocking a two-handed weapon. Man, those ice dudes really tear shit up. I'm going to see what this condenser vein does. Oh. It uh did the fart cloud one. Well, that's pretty okay. What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna start identifying other scrolls. <laughs> so we're gonna need a scroll teleportation, probably, pretty soon. Chain of weapon is pretty nice. Got potion securing. I'm gonna read the scroll poise. I read the wrong scroll, like an absolute dumb fuck. Guess I'll throw the net, make some space. Okay, didn't expect that. That's kind of annoying. Never mind, we're gods. Never mind, we're friggin' dumbasses. Uh, I'm gonna pop the scroll of teleport now. Start chugging potions curing. Man, that was really not great. Look, I have to pop the regeneration. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot the friggin' Dragon's Push. That was so shit. Might have to retreat and see what the Orcish Mines have on offer. So I don't think we have any ice-resistant equipment. So there's not really many options for us to deal with that guy. The Orcish Mines will probably be on this floor. The Lair and the Orcish Mines tend to spawn pretty close to each other. I think they're like the intended routes for you to go. Got a ring of positive energy, which is cool. Starting to fill up our inventory quite a bit. That's a lot of dudes. I feel a little more confident uh, fighting these guys than in my other run with the Palantonga. What's this status fact?
Uh, the dudes with the extendo weapons are definitely going to be a pain, though. I guess I could equip my own extendo weapon. Now I'm finding them one at a time. Awesome. Yeah, is that all you guys have got? Okay, so there's plus one spear of flaming, ultra mediocre, got normal unenchanted armor, plus two anti magic war axe. That can replace my non anti magic war axe. Some needles. All right, good enough. Hmm, this floor is kind of empty. I guess there might be like a limit to how many enemies they spawn on the floor, and they just put them all in that one room. Oh, Jesus! Accidentally resized the window. Okay. Well, it's Acid Dragon. How good are Acid Dragon skills again? Extraordinarily mediocre. But helps against corrosion, I guess. Alright, there's tons of duders. Just kind of hitting them with wands and stuff. Probably should start going up and down the stairs just in case we get hit with like a confusion spell. Okay, no big deal. It's an easy enough fight. Apparently the fire zone is pretty good and close for us. Could pop the... Magic mapping. Scroll, but I don't think it's 100% necessary. As you can see, the whip of electrocution just tears ass when you find someone with low AC. Or, yeah, AC and evasion. Trog has granted us a weapon. Plus six anti magic morning star. That's pretty nice. Base damage of 34. That's got to be better than our whip. Uh, that's a little bit awful. The Orc Warlord is raging the dudes. It's not that awful because we are super strong. I'm going to pop the magic mapping. I need to find out where this oppressive heat is. Yeah, we were going in completely the wrong direction. I think we can take on this fire zone. We've got resist fire 2. I could put on a ring of fire to have resist fire 3. Just be pretty much... Not like immune, but greatly resistant against the fire things. You little barbed prick. Yeah, rapier flaming. Very good. 
plus four chain mail, fire resistance. That's extraordinarily good. Uh, we need to drop some garbage. Do I have scrolls to identify? What are these potions? Potion of magic, completely useless. Potion of resistance. Eh. Plus two hand crossbow flaming. Not as good as our sling, I think. Wait, what do you mean done exploring? Oh, the map's changing up, I guess. There's a rumble, the roof shakes. Okay, and we can't dig through this. Man. I mean, we could pop a teleport scroll, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, great. Well, I tried. Looks like we're... No, there's a potion of experience. We gotta, we gotta go for one more. Oh. Man, are you actually serious? I'm going to go for one more. I'm pretty sure the, the zone still exists. It's not happening. Man, I should have paid more attention. We could have gotten a friggin' potion of experience points. That sucks so much. Oh, well. No big deal. There's plenty of efficiency. We still have scroll requirement. We're doing pretty good as far as runs are concerned. Starting to feel a little bit paranoid that we're a little too locked into the I'm gonna activate the scroll poison. Ah, oh, little bastard. Get zapped. Okay, we need to build a battle arena. Can't be fighting these douchebags with the priests just constantly bioging us. Alright, there we go. Now we can only be targeted by one enemy at a time. Any priest would have to contend with my morning star. Which is very fine. Our only main risk in this zone... Well, there's like a few, right? There's the magic caster dudes who can just bypass our armor. And then there's the high-level enemies. Like that warlord who can just punch through. And the warlord could also cause all the allies to deal a bunch of bonus damage. The raging battle cry. Looks like this is a. We mostly got this place handled. Okay, there is a high priest. But. They're not that strong. Just going to be doing this for a little while until we run out of tough enemies. Kind 
kind of looks like we're at that phase. Reach level 13. Apparently our cloud thing is just recharged. I'm going to stop dipping into shields. Feeling a little bit paranoid. I'm going to retreat a bit. The further we get in there, the... Oh, was not paying attention. The further we get in there, uh, the more risk we... The more risk we have of being caught out. Uh, there's no recourse. Targeted by spells from afar, unable to retreat. That's what happened to our Palandanga. Yeah, plus four longsword's not that bad. There's so many fucking dudes. What the hell? Ah, oh, I gotta retreat. It's a high priest. At least I think it's a high priest. What are you? Yeah, it's a high priest. What can you do? So I can smite, can do the pain spell, uh, I can summon fiends, does the abjuration. Okay. I guess I'm a little overly paranoid. It seems like they took out a lot of the stuff that just sends you to the abyss. Which I'm definitely not complaining. That shit's super annoying. Don't get me wrong. Uh, wow. The friggin... Yeah, I'll pop him. Scroll poison. Yeah, you can throw all the boomerangs he wants. Stay mad. Apparently it's a boomerang of dispersal. Uh, the elf demonologist guys probably still have the ability to send you the abyss. What the hell is that? Trishula Condemnation? Is that like a trident? A weapon to bring forth guilt from the guilty. It was first wielded by the Archangel Lucriel, who, on seeing the suffering of the first mortals, led them as an army against the cruelty of the gods. The ragged survivors of Lucriel's army took this weapon with them into the wilderness, the sole remnants of an Archangel's virtue. It is a pull-arm. Is a one-handed weapon, so it's just a trident. Okay, it's pretty good. Noisiness is kind of me, but resist negative energy is good. Anguish makes its victims' attacks reflect back on them. It's a really nice weapon. The holy thing as well uh, would be extremely useful. We're kind of really far away from that, monetarily speaking, though. There's another potion of experience, which you could afford. Absolute garbage in there. Also garbage in there. I mean, the cloak's good. Might be worth equipping the cloak. Oh, yeah, we have a chainmail that we should be wearing as well. I didn't wear it in the fire zone, because I figured we were going to be fighting more duders. Um, I'm going to explore the rest of this floor. The Orcish Mines have a ton of gold just lying about. Uh, probably should be a little more cautious. If 
by dudes in here. So I'm not invincible. As much as I feel it. The upstairs here is nice. It will kind of give us an escape outlet if shit gets too fucked up. Should start to lean that way a little tiny bit. Trog has gifted us a weapon. Looks like it's a plus eight hand axe. That's extraordinarily good. Is that better than our flail? Let's see. So morning star minus two, 13, damage rating 35, hand axe 25. Mm. I don't know if the plus serves as like a plus to hit. I think it's just plus damage, maybe. Okay. Well, we didn't find that much gold. We're at 1200. Uh, we kind of cross-trained ourselves super-duper hard into the maces and flails and axes category. So it would feel weird to switch to a pull arm at this point. I think we can hold out for a better weapon. We've got a plus six weapon right now, so the actual increase we would get from that weapon... Like, it's not not considerable. Let me put it that way. But it's not, like, crazy. I think I'm going to go to the lair. Should be strong enough to fight anything, including that damn dragon. At this point. be pretty friggin' annoying if we couldn't. But, like, we just destroyed the entire... Orcish Mines. Oh, we probably need to unequip our Ring of Fire if we're going to be fighting ice shit. Just going to lure the Simulacrums over. Oh, hold on. So... 9 base armor, 11 encumbrance. I think that's slightly better than uh, plate mail, but we've got plus 4 chain mail right now. Here's the dragon. Is there anything we can do to boost our chances? I guess I'll chug the potion resistance because it will give me more cold resistance. Yeah. Okay. That was maybe slightly too cautious. I think at this point, nothing remains on the floor that could challenge us. Hmm. So this ring mail lower our AC by four and give us a little strength, but lower our decks. I don't think that's worth. I mean, even with the decks lowering, we probably would have more dodge uh, because the encumbrance rating is so much lower, but we need the AC. AC good. Okay, I'm going to treat a little bit. Singular toad S screwed our day up. Six-headed Hydra. We could probably fight Six-headed Hydra. Like, no big deal. So, I mean, it uh, bites for 18 damage piece. We have more AC than it has damage. I know AC isn't like a 100% blocker. It's like some sort of weird system going. I think we can take it on and then see how it treats us. Yeah. 
No big deal. In fact, uh, because the Hydra attacks so many times, I think we might actually have a better time with it than normal because uh, we have a chance to proc our headbutt. I don't know if it can proc more than once per turn, but if it can, then that would just be like the ultimate Hydra counter. It's that Mamba. Mamba destroyed. Cool. Found a wand of charming. Just also good. It's interesting that the cane, uh, the blank frogs can still blink while anti magicked. Lair's looking pretty good so far. I think I want to pop another scroll of requirement right now. So, cloak seems kind of horrible. Like, I mean, int 4, dex 4, can turn and biz, some armor, sure, but slay minus 2 kind of sucks. I'm kind of. I'm thinking between the gold and the manual of shields. If we pick up the manual of shields, we kind of hard locking ourselves into doing the sword and board build. But maybe that's not a bad thing, especially if we get a bunch of extra XP with the shields. Currently, only have six shielding, but we are using a buckler. We could potentially get like a really badass shield too. I think I'll do the manual. Okay, it doesn't occupy an inventory slot. Does it still work the same way? Yeah. I should pick up a bigger shield when I see one. Hope they didn't nerf the manuals. Feels good to just be able to destroy the elephants through sheer force of armor class. Mm, there's death axe. Yeah, I'm probably going to take them on. That is a lot of them, don't get me wrong, but like... You know? We're badass. I'm going to rage so that we do even more damage. I'm popping a scroll and teleport. Fuck, these things are so tough, what the hell? Okay, we're not invincible. I gotta repeat that to myself every time I get a dumbass idea like that. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. It was a small danger for us. Plus one, whip. Not really that great. That's kind of annoying. Can I enthrall these guys? No. In fact, I have a better chance enthralling Sanja than the elephants. Which is pretty funny. Guess I'll go for it. Yeah. Yeah, fucking fight Sanja. Awesome. Whoa! Okay, I can drop the plus two war axe. All right, come on, son, just stop running away. Okay, we need to change our equipment up. So the manual shields was a mistake because this is a two-handed weapon. But I think I 
you know, in spite of the mistake, uh, we've got our weapon that will be with us for the rest of the game. Uh, what's our maces need to be? Level 20 to get the minimum delay? Eh, whatever. <laughs> what, the beetle can jump? Uh, we don't need the ring of fire. This mace is so friggin' badass. I'm gonna thank Trog. I offer prayer to Trog. Hmm, Ring of Flight. Not terrible. Might as well grab it. It's those death yaks again. I'm ready for them this time. I have a plus 12 mace. Great mace. Yeah, don't want a guardian spirit amulet. Potions of magic, can just ignore those. Oh, I thought there was going to be some sort of ginormous monster. I guess this is just like an elephant graveyard. Don't call. Well, you know what? With this floor mostly explored, I think we can call it for today. Our lucky streak continues. We are pretty kitted out. The only thing we really need is, like, bigger armor, magic boots, magic cloak. And then we'll be, like, fully set for the Zot rune and everything. So, yeah. This is, this is a fantastic run. Not much else to say. Except, of course, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Goodbye!